Hi everyone, welcome to my first lesson of how to crochet. Crocheting is super fun, very therapeutic and you can crochet absolutely everything from home decor to fashion. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a slip knot, foundation chain and single crochet. If you like my video, feel free to subscribe to my channel How to Crochet and you can stay updated about my new videos or feel free to follow me on my Instagram or Facebook. I hope you enjoyed this video and now let's get started. Alright guys, so before we start to crochet, I would like to talk about the yarn and the hook for a little bit. So for the, uh, if you're the absolute beginner, I would definitely recommend 5mm hook or it's H8 size. Uh, it's just the most common hook size and also it's easier to work with this size because then you see nicely your stitches and you have to practice your tension and everything. So I wouldn't do anything smaller than five millimeters. So five millimeter and up. This is what I would recommend for the for the start. And also for the yarn, I would definitely recommend any acrylic yarn. It doesn't have to be this loop and threads uh, brand. It could be anything else, whatever you find in the store. And the acrylic, because the yarn, it doesn't split. It's soft and it's nicely slippery on your hook. So uh, the chains and stitches are like very easily to, very easy to do. And also on the label, you can see uh, like a basic information that you need to know. So especially the yardage or in the meters, uh, that, that this is the four or medium yarn. So we also call it worsted yarn. So worsted yarn or medium four usually goes with the five millimeter hook. Of course, you can use any other size, but then the sizing of the project will be a little bit different. So yes, this is what I would recommend. Anything uh, what goes with the five millimeter hook or anything higher and definitely the acrylic yarn. And I think that now we can just start to crochet. All right, guys, so let's start it. Uh, I just want to know that I'm also right handed. So unfortunately, I don't know how to uh, direct people when they are left handed, unfortunately. So I just apologize in advance. It's a little bit different. I don't know, like uh, I, I would just say simply just, you know, to the thing, everything on the other side, but uh, I don't wanna, I'm not um, familiar with that. So I apologize in advance if you're left handed. So I don't exactly know how to navigate you. So I'm a right handed. So my hook's gonna be in my right hand. And there are many ways how to, um, many ways how to uh, hold the hook. Okay, but there's no uh, wrong or right style how to hold the hook. So it's something that you have to kind of play around while you're going to practice the crocheting. So what's your like a comfortable with. So me, I'm holding it like a knife. So it's just like that. Or I know that somebody hold the hook like the pen. So it depends. Uh, yeah, it depends what you're what's going to be like more comfortable for you. So but this is something that you will uh, figure it out while you're going to practice crocheting. So all, and now about the yarn. So you, you have the yarn around like on, in your left hand. And uh, again, like there are many ways how to hold the yarn. Somebody does it uh, like a, around, like, I mean, between the pinky and the ringer and then around your uh, around your fingers and they just hold the yarn like that me i'm just uh i'm just uh make a little like just wrap around my finger and with those two fingers i'm holding the yarn right here and then i'm just crocheting so again this is something that you have to figure it out and it's gonna be your unique or like your style how to hold those two things so now let's get started uh so you have your hook in your right uh right hand or the left hand uh, and now how we have to always start with the slip knot and there are again many ways how to start it but uh, for now I'm gonna show you that I'll wrap the yarn around my two fingers and now I will create an X shape right here and then I have just around my two fingers again with those two I'm just holding the end of the yarn now I grab my hook slide it under the first loop and grab the second one so now you see that i hold the x shape with my thumb and now i'm just sliding it and i'm still holding it the tails and now i will tie it and the slip knot is because now we can actually uh slip the knot <laughs> so that's why it goes like that 
and now I'm gonna tie it right to my hook but not too not too tight because we will be making uh, our foundation chain so let's have a little space here to actually make the hook go through that okay so now I can show you better how I um, how I hold my yarn so like I said before I usually wrap uh, just a few times around my pointer with those two fingers uh, with my I mean pinky and the ringer I'm just uh, holding the yarn and with my middle finger and thumb I always hold the project so now it's my tail and I always like pull it a little bit down and make the space right beneath the hook so then I have the space to make the chain so now we have the slip knot and we always start with the foundation chain so what we're gonna do we have just one loop on my on our hook so what we're gonna do is we just wrap the yarn around our hook and we will pull through that loop and we have still one loop on our hook and now we make we made our and now we're going to do the second chain so we just wrap the wrap the yarn around our hook and it's like from the back to the front and grab that and pull through the chain so now we have two chains I'm just gonna make it closer for you so now we just do yarn over and pull through and we have the three chains now you can see the chains we don't count uh, this loop as a first chain we always count the chains what's uh, from the hook so it means what's like right here so now I have three chains you can see the V shapes and one V shape is one chain so now we have one two three so let's do more yarn over pull through we have another chain yarn over pull through and don't tie it too much because then uh, for the, our second row we will need to insert the hook to make uh, our first row so don't tie it too much now it's gonna be um, it is gonna be a little bit uh, like yeah you're gonna need practice a little bit uh, now like of course that you can have it nice and uh, like a loosened foundation chain so it should look like that so it, you should see that uh, now you can see how it's uh, like an even chains and um, and if you don't feel that you have it like that because I know that uh, I used to teach how to crochet and I know that uh, they tied this uh, this foundation chain a lot so then it was pretty hard to uh, make the first row because uh, because they couldn't uh, insert the hook into the chains so this is how it should look if you feel that it doesn't look like that uh, then don't worry about it so let's frog it let's frog it and let's uh, practice it again even with the slip knot so uh, don't be harsh on yourself crocheting is not that easy actually maybe how it looks so you need to practice you need to practice your tension you need to uh, practice how to coordinate your two hands so don't be harsh on you just take your time and make the foundation chain as many like many times as you need so now again let's make the slip knot so what we're gonna do we just wrap the yarn around our two fingers and create an X shape which I hold with my thumb the other uh, two fingers it holds the end and now I have two loops on my fingers I still hold that X shape grab the hook slide it under the first loop and the second one I just pull through and I'm just still holding the tails or that X shape but now I'm just gonna tie it and move the tail in like okay, right to the hook and let's leave this tail uh, and uh, then we will uh, you usually we win at the end of the project uh, into the project so then it's not visible but don't cut it just leave it as it is and now we have our slip knot and now we make the foundation chain so we do yarn over and pull through yarn over pull through yarn over pull through yarn over pull through you can always also notice how I move my middle finger and the thumb 
like while I'm crocheting I always uh, hold the project with those two fingers and pull it a little bit down so then I make the space right here so my, uh, the crochet hook is just going through very smoothly so this is what you do and this is your foundation chain so this is how it looks let's count it so again one v shape is one chain so if i'm gonna leave it like that so this is the one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so that's perfect again we never count first chain this loop on the hook Usually the pattern says that uh, you have to, let's say, insert uh, the hook into the second chain from the hook and it means one, two. It means this one. So actually, maybe we can start with our first row and now you will learn how to make the single crochet. So this is the most basic stitch. And uh, like I said, actually, before, now uh, we skip this first chain from the hook and we insert the hook into the second one. So, uh, we insert the hook right here and it's kind of like a below here, right at that V shape. So what happens is because the V shape or the one chain contains like a three strings. So when we insert the hook into the first chain or like a, our second chain, but you know, this is the first stitch. So we have two strings above and down we have just one i hope it makes sense of course there are many like it's not this is not like at the um, you can there are many ways where to actually insert the hook for the first stitch but let's uh, let's make it easy for you for your first lesson so now we insert the hook and we grab the yarn around the hook so again it's like from the front pull the loop through the chain and now you see we have two loops on our hook. So now we make yarn over again and pull the loop through two chains and we have one loop on our hook. And this is the single crochet. Why we skip the first chain is because we uh, because this is the turning chain. So we always make until like when we are done with our first row, we make chain one and then we will turn the project and that, that chain one is only a turning chain it doesn't count as a first stage so that's why for now we just uh, we had to insert the hook into the second chain because the first one is just the turning chain it makes sense and now we will insert the hook and again into the next chain so now you see that from this chain this is our single crochet so now this is our second chain so this is where we insert the hook again it's like that we have two strings on top and down we have the one string yarn over pull up the loop yarn over pull up the loop through two and this is our second single crochet and now you can see that uh, now you can see that in this chain we already made a single crochet that now so the next one is write this one so we insert the hook into the next chain yarn over pull up the loop so we have two loops on our hook yarn over pull through two and this is our third single crochet and now again this is what you repeat until the end of the row just a single crochet And this is how it looks and this is how your first row looks. Also first row is usually the worst one because it is hard because the foundation chain uh, is sometimes like too tight so the first row is kind of the hardest and then it goes smoothly from the second row i promise so now this is my last chain actually i'm gonna show you so now this is my last chain so this is where i will insert my hook 
Sometimes I have to help <laughs> too. And now yarn over, pull up the loop, yarn over, pull up the loop through two. So now this is my first row of the single crochet. So it's also the single crochet that looks like that the V shape. And now what we're gonna do, we are at the end of the row, we do chain one. So we just make yarn over, pull up the loop. So this is our chain one and it's our turning chain only. Now we turn the project as a book page. And now you can see the stitches way easier. And because this chain doesn't count as a first stitch, we will insert the hook right into the first single crochet from the previous row or the last one actually. But first stitch in this row. So now you can see the little holes right here. So you will insert the hook in every uh, this little hole and you will make single crochet into them. So now we made a chain one. This is just a turning chain. Now we will insert the hook right into the first stitch. So again, we have those this V shape pretty much above. Yarn over, pull up the loop. Now we have two loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two. So our first single crochet. Now you see that in this chain I all or this stitch I already made a single crochet. So the next one is right here. Again, insert the hook, yarn over, pull up the loop, two loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through two. And this is what you um repeat until the end of the row. And this second row is way easier because it is pretty straightforward where to insert the hook. It's not like the first row when we had to insert the hook into the chains. But this is into the stitch. Again, try not to tie it too much. I know that it's going to be a big, like you're going to have the tendency to do it. But let's uh, try to make your hand like nicely relaxed and... Uh, just don't make it too tight because then you have to insert the hook into the single crochets and then it's make it easier when it's a little bit looser, loosen. So now you can see uh, how it looks my second row. Of course, if you don't feel like that, it, uh, that it's uh, not too like loosen or it's just too tight, it's pretty hard. So then again, just let's frog it. So we will just rip it off. And let's start again and just start again and start again until you will be happy <laughs> about how it looks. Of course, that every project, I mean, every first project is kind of funky and it doesn't look nice. But again, don't be harsh on yourself. Just make, let's say, uh, let's say just the squares or some rectangles. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Let's say try to make like 15 foundation chains and then I know that I have less now, but and then always you will insert the hook into the second chain from the hook. So then because when you uh, count the row, the first row, uh, and if you if you made that 15 foundation chains, then you will have 14 single crochet stitches so this is how you can uh, also um, make sure that you have the same number that you didn't uh, let's say skip one chain or stitch which is which can happen very easily it happens to me too uh, so yeah just always like make sure after you make the first row I can show you also how to count it so now you can see from the top, you can see the V shapes again, one V shape is the one stitch and also this one. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now I have eight single crochets. So that means that I made nine foundation chains. I do chain one, turn the project and now I should have eight single crochet again. So it's one two, three, four, five, six, 
seven and a this is my last one not this one this is just our chain the turning chain but it will actually blend in into the project so it won't be that visible so yeah this is my eight single crochets and this is how you will uh repeat so i can make one more row for you so then you will see the texture of the single crochets again you can see my hands and my middle finger with the thumb how it holds the project and then i make the rest so it doesn't it doesn't go into my way while i'm crocheting so that's why also holding it so this is how it looks okay guys so i made a few rows so now you can see my single crochet rows uh and how it actually looks the texture of it uh so now i'm at the end of the project so this is the same for any project how we secure uh, secure it and then we can just uh cut it so before we cut the yarn and then let's say that you think that you're done that this is actually it what you wanted to do so at the end of the row so this is my last stitch or my last single crochet of the row or even of the project so how are we gonna do it i just do yarn over and in like it's pretty much the same like that we would make the chain i'm actually doing that loop i have the chain here but now i will just cut the yarn right here I leave a little tail and I will just pull through and tie it and this is how we secure our project. So now you can see that I have uh, this little bit bigger so I made 21 foundation chain and then uh, it's 20 single crochets in each row uh, because when we made a foundation chain we had to insert the hook into the second chain and then we started to make the single crochet so that's why it's about one number less than the foundation chain the single crochet so now i have 20 single crochets in each row and now just how to count the rows and it's pretty easy you can just spread the project a little bit so now you can see the rows pretty easily so it's like one two three four five six seven eight nine so we have nine rows and it looks like that all right guys so don't be harsh on yourself uh just keep practicing it takes a little time to actually find your tension and how to coordinate your hands and everything so yeah don't be harsh on yourself because it might not look that nice uh your sides might just go like it might be just a little like a funky you know and uh it's totally okay my first project didn't look actually very nice like at all i was teaching crocheting so i know that most students um, they didn't have it like a nicely nicely done but it's totally okay it's part of the learning and you can always frog it do it again and i'm sure that with every stage or every row you're getting better and better so uh yeah i think that is everything for this lesson uh if you have any questions or if you like this video or even you don't like it just leave me a comment or email me on lenka at happyheartsy.com and i would be more than happy to help you or uh, answer your questions or like anything and feel free to subscribe my channel uh, so you can stay updated about my new upcoming lessons for the beginners and yes that's everything and i hope that you have a great day